welcome back friends so inside this class we are going to start learning from the word spacing how we can give space between the word so let's just apply here word spacing word spacing so here you can just say let's just use 12 pixel for space between each word for just uh, heading to Instead of 12 pixel, I'm just using here. Uh, let's just use 25 pixel. Double space here between each word. So I think let's use 50 pixel to just for better understanding. It's just working or not. The word is facing 128x save and refresh so this is not working here let's just apply this on the ptech here sometimes it's just giving this kind of problem we need to just make this yes friends it's just working here now we have used 50 pixel of uh just not 50 20 pixel we use 10 pixel of word space here so you can see the changes now we have 10 pixel of space between each words so like this you can use uh, letter spacing and word spacing to give space between word or between the letters it's just up on you how you are just giving 10 pixel you are giving 5 pixel you are giving 3 pixel or you are giving 50 pixel of word spacing just to make all this perfect so it was about just word spacing there is nothing else after that we have a line height so uh, in line height I'm just going to discuss about this applying here inside the heading 2 so let's just give a background color for this first background color something like yellow and let's just give a height something like uh, maybe 50 pixel of height you can save this and refresh so now uh, this just text is in center you can see text align we have used here center value is in center but it is uh, horizontally in center if you want to align uh, this text in center vertically so you need to just use here a line height for example line height what is the height of this element 50 pixels so you must give 50 pixel line height if you want to just bring this text in center of this for example the height the height of this element is for, suppose that it is not 50 it is 80 pixels save this and refresh so now you can see this text is not in center you must give the line height equal to the height of your element it is 80 pixel you must give this 80 pixel if it is 20 pixel you must give this 20 pixel and if it is 100 pixel you must give this 100 pixel to bring the text in center just like this so after the line height let's see we have just text shadow so let's just discuss about the text shadow i'm just going to apply this here on the heading 2 text shadow text a shadow you can say just uh, four pixel of shadow from the bottom it's just working shadow from the two side and four pixel of uh, shadow from the right side and the color of shadow should be right save this and refresh now you can see we have a right shadow here but this is not blur if you want to just make this blur you need to add a pixel for the blur of the shadow the third pixel and refresh now you can see this shadow is blur you can just use the shadow like this also for example you want zero pixel and zero pixel and you want just something like 30 pixel of red shadow around this text now if we just increase the amount uh, instead of 30 if we used here 90 pixel save and refresh so uh, let's just see 
0 pixel by 0 pixel and 90 pixel let's just put this 200 pixel save this and refresh so this not just working here no problem but this just the way of giving a uh, texture so from the two side first pixel is from the bottom five pixel and the second pixel is from the right side and the third pixel is for the blur if you are not giving blur so it will just have a look like this so let's just use six pixel or five pixel for the blur of shadow and all you can just change the color to black or any color you want for the shadow like this after the text shadow we have text indent so let's just apply this also here text indent if you are applying the text dash indent here on the heading 2 for example 100 uh, not here let's, let's apply this on the link on the anchor tag text dash indent for example 200 pixel save this and just after refreshing you can see here a refresh so there is a problem text indent i think it is not working here we are in the wrong place save this we must apply this here on the paragraph tag and save after refreshing you need to focus on the first line refresh now you can see it has just applied margin from the left and 200 pixel you can see we have used here text indent it will work as a margin left if you are just giving here just a 50 pixel of text indent it will just work for the paragraph and for the first line now we have 50 pixel of margin from the left so this is just the usage of uh, text indent you can just apply this on the paragraph tag but it will affect on the first line so we have just discussed about uh, text properties like color text align text decoration text transform letter spacing word spacing line height text zero and text indent so this is just total nine properties that we have just uh, discussed about this and i hope uh, it is useful it's helpful for you if you have any kind of question any kind of suggestion you can ask me related to this course i will be happy to give you an answer i will be happy to help you so just in next class i will come back we'll, uh, we'll discuss about the form how we can just give some style uh, about the html form so till next class try to uh, use all these nine properties that we have for the text properties try to watch the video and do practice for this lecture so have a nice time and best of luck